Hello and welcome to The Run Gear, episode 10, Bob. 10, I know, yeah, 10. It flies, doesn't it? It does fly, actually, yeah. Um, what started off as a, a crazy idea over um, a pint one night has now turned into <laughs> episode 10. Um, yeah. And the, the last, I suppose, we'll have a highlights show next week, but yeah. the last of this series before... We'll take a couple of weeks break and then crack into season two and start looking at half marathons and marathons. Yeah, I know. To break my 10 kilometer mark. Yes, exactly. My longest run ever, 10K. Exactly. But but before that, more product testing. It's mm. been a few weeks and um, it was the same location where we are filming today when we last looked at the Skechers um, runners, which I do love. I still, yeah, I used to like I them. still wear them a lot. I still can't get used to the to the feeling of being slightly unbalanced mm. by them the whole time. But no, I, I do, I do love them. But um, the great people at Little were in touch. Little, Little, Little. I, I don't know. It depends if you listen to UK television or listen to Irish TV. They yeah. all pronounce it differently. <laughs> yeah, I I go little, but little. Yeah, um, yeah. They were in touch, and uh, they uh, very kindly sent us some product to test. Now. I'll be honest, I wasn't really expecting an awful lot. No. Like, I've bought their compression stuff before, I've bought their socks, I've bought their compression tops, and they're perfectly fine. I, yeah. I still wear them, and they're good quality. I mean, why wouldn't they be? Most of them are German, mm -hmm. um, the quality is great, but I thought, right, I know. we're getting into running stuff, the new compression tops were going to be fine, t shirts, yeah. fine. Um, but they sent us runners. These bad boys. Um, they have two sets of runners coming out. There's Bob's, there's mine. Um, these are the natural runners. I like the color of yours. Yeah, like they are They are nice. It's um, it's very much like, uh, you know, I have a pair of Adidas Boost which have the same kind of knit surface. And yeah, that's like cloth. It's, yeah. like, it's like a wicky kind of cloth rather than the neoprene stuff to put on most runners. But this is part of the Crivet Pro range. So Crivet is their sports brand. Uh, Crivet Pro is obviously mm. a little fancier. Um, so, April 14th, they are releasing their Crivet Pro range. So, it's in a few days, yeah, yeah, it's in a yeah. few days' time. So, is it any good, Bob? I, the, the most of the range, I think the rest of the stuff is really, really good. But the star of this, the real star of the whole lot are these runners. Because for the price of them, for what you're going to get for, was it, 28, 29 euro? 30 quid, 29.99. It's just like they're perfect starter runners. I'll be, I'll be honest, I came laden with preconceived ideas about what that. these be. I thought these are going to be rubbish. I looked at them and they, look, they look okay. They were, they come together, they were fixed together. The last time I got a, a pair of that, I think was back yeah. in the day when you used to get sizzlers and yeah. uh, or fifth gear and duns or pennies okay, um, so put them on I thought the feeling was quite snug yeah so uh, you know they fit very well like uh, they're they're probably a little bit small the construction is fine let down for me is the laces I think the laces are yeah. awful and they don't have anyone who needs to have uh, the extra hole here which you often find on a lot of these runners you need an extra hole there to, to lace them up a different way that isn't there either so it's just a standard set of holes going up on the outside but flexibility i mean they're really yeah. flexible they're really light they do wick the air passes through them very easy wouldn't possibly wear them on a wet day i'd say you could drown i wore them, them on a wet day. run the other day i mean i went out um, where are we now? I went out Sunday in them, mm. um, and I did about 5k, um, and I was just shocked how good they felt. Yeah, I was too, yeah. They, 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 you know, they're light, they're flexible, you know, they, uh, there's some, you know, we probably shouldn't be that surprised. There's been a, a big movement towards natural feeling shoes, towards yeah. shoes that feel a little bit like your, your barefoot. Um, but they're really good for thirty quid. You, uh, you know, if you, if you if you had told me that um, these were the new concept Nike or New yeah. Balance or Adidas, I'd be, you know, I'd be fawning all over them. Yeah. But they're thirty quid. Yeah. If you took out that pro on the inside, took out all the Crivet thing, you'd, you'd struggle to tell what brand these were as to what level you're at here. You know, you're thinking this has got to be 50, 60, 70 quid. They weigh nothing. They're really mm. light. Good support. Good cloth on the outside. And then they come in at 30 quid in the little range. You know, I came back from the run the other night and I thought, right, I, I looked at the Adidas boots which I have, which I love. I, I wear them I, I wear them nearly more as a fashion accessory because they're really bright and red and I just like <laughs> garish <laughs> yeah. colours. But I asked myself the question, were they five times better 
than these. I mean, the, the Adidas boost yeah. I have are ultra boost, 150 euro. Are they five times better than this? Absolutely not. No. Uh, are they a bit better? Yes, but these are 30 quid. I mean, for anyone who's starting off running, who just wants to go out, wants to try um, whether they like it, mm. you don't need yep. to go out and buy the fanciest Asics or New Balance. You and plus, if you buy them in that colour, you can wear them as a regular kind of yeah. fashion accessory thing as well. These are, be yeah, well, well I would wear them as, in that, as a fashion accessory, but I think these are a really, really good buy. And, and I'm I'm actually genuinely a little bit shocked that I'm saying that, but they're definitely. excellent shoes. You should definitely hit in on the 14th. These are gonna go like hotcakes. I mean, even ready. if you needed a pair, you know, at worst, if you needed a spare pair, mm -hmm, yeah, or if you needed a pair to travel with, uh, you know, for, for going on short runs, these are really, really good. I'd quite happily do an event in these. So would I, they're very light. They, I mean, they literally weigh nothing. I'm sure the, even the pro lads who think about weight of everything, yeah. they look at these just going, God, these are very, very light. Good support, really. A good arch on both sides. They push up on both sides. They're a real star, definitely. How is your fit on yours? Not bad. I was a little bit short in the top. Just a, li a little bit too much room up here, but width-wise I was okay. Uh, yeah, I would say that, I mean, I wear sort of 10 and a half or 11, depending on the brand. Mm. These are 11 and they uh, they just fit it. So I would yeah. say just, I mean, you know, obviously you can try them in the shop. I think these are going to go like hotcakes. Yeah, they are, yeah, definitely. Um, be you know what happens in Italy, you know, they announce something and there's a stampede. Yeah. And, and there's quite rightly should be a stampede. What else did you try it from them this week? I've had I had that T-shirt. a T-shirt. Yeah, it? I have one of the, the orange technical T-shirts. That thing. I tried that this morning, which is really high quality. Yeah, product. it is really really high quality material that's in that. That look. I'm mean, even down to the kind of spine that it has. Yeah, the little armor plate. That you know that just could be Nike or Asics yeah. or. New I thought it was. I really did. The stuff I've seen in some of the shops for 30, 40, 50 quid tops like this and have bought, like Carry More or Adidas or like that. And then this comes along and it comes straight out in the good colours. The one I have, I have a black one, I have an orange one. Performance top is eleven ninety nine. Eleven ninety nine is an incredible value. These are really like these are proper stretch material, really good stuff, like everything's in them that could possibly be in anyone else's top brand stuff and so i mean in terms of because what's a what's a nike or asics one going to cost you 30 30, 30, odd, 30 yeah. quid 30 buy three odd. of them instead you'd have three of these and you had them different colors well i have a black one of this not just orange orange really i love orange yeah I no yeah, yeah, yeah. Orange. sure i need, 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 always have that orange jacket on me but look it's very very good and and weaved on the back i haven't I've, I've only worn this once i haven't washed it yet so i don't know how how it washes but um i do find out that medium is quite a tight fit and large is an all right fit so large fits me like a medium but normally yeah so see, step up a size this is it. why i won't be modeling this i got a large <laughs> and i look it's just it's it's, it's, it's a family show we're not gonna do okay <laughs> um the next one i have here is the compression top now yeah there it is in black maybe i'm wrong i thought this was for ladies I thought so too with the V-neck thing. Yeah. So I put it on, it felt a bit weird with the with the V-neck. So, again, I put it on. I didn't look pretty in it, but it, uh, as a top, I wore. What I ended up doing was wearing this under a t-shirt. Boiling. Because it so. just held everything together. <laughs> it was like a, it was like a corset. It was kind of slightly <laughs> Downton Abbey. <laughs> yeah, but uh, but it uh, look, it was nice. Uh, you know, as 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 I said, I've bought lots of compression tops in mm. little before. It, um, and they fly out. They do, yeah. They I do bought fly them for out. cycling, and it was um, the same. So, you know, I, I wouldn't. Yeah, you, know, you could go and spend crazy money on um, <laughs> Under Armour or some of those ones. But these are again. These are all mapped out with a little six pack thing on the front. And yeah, got all it's the closest I'm back. getting to a six pack anytime yep. soon. So it's yeah, it's like pretending you have one. Yeah. Um, but look, they're brilliant. Um, great how much value. are those again, compression tops? Too. Twelve ninety nine. Yeah, they're really good value. Compression tops start at about nineteen ninety nine and go upwards from there yeah. for any brand name stuff. So that is incredible um, value. Shorts. This is where I have a big problem. <laughs> <laughs> shorts. Um, shorts don't work. The shorts they're they're standard enough issue shorts. They come with these Do you remember do you remember Bob in the nineties? <laughs> footballers started yep. wearing cycling shorts under their shorts. There they are, yeah. Um 
I just don't like the shorts. Zane Sorry. Top. I just I'd like, like the shorts if that wasn't in them. Yeah. If they were just a pair of shorts, it'd yeah. just be a pair of shorts. They're fine. Um, the, the, it's too warm now. It's gotten too warm. These inlays, right? these kind of cycling shorts things, they're not tight enough. No, they're not, no. So no matter, so you get the right size and, you know, I have pretty big thighs and they still feel loose. So yeah, they're not really they're, doing what they're supposed to do. And when they heat up, they expand a little bit further yeah. and start to really start now to Now these cheese, the, sh the shorts are super cheap. Oh, they are, yeah. And but, there's a zip uh, pocket in the back for yeah. the keys, car keys and things. It, it's the only one of the group I just didn't like. No, it, it really would, it's a polarizing thing. I thought that was a cool design thing sticking out of the bottom of it. Very point. 90s. Then I realized that it actually goes all the way up inside. It's another trousers inside that. Oh, so, okay. So even if you, like you're gonna get really hot in them, especially running in summer, uh, I get hot in shorts as it is. I sweat like a fool when I come back. Like so, if I put on two pairs of shorts and then two tops and a compression top, and he's just gonna boil up. Yeah. I can see for maybe the pro guys there might be some benefit to it, but I couldn't find the benefit to that one. But good value, honestly. Yeah, good, good value. Price. But I mean, look, the, I think the moral of the story is April fourteenth. Definitely, yeah. I mean, I am. I'm definitely going back for more compression tops. I'm definitely yeah. going back to get more of those t-shirts. Those t-shirts, definitely. T-shirts are really good value. Just really good value. Just because of the quality of the material. And that's not a mess. Just the quality of the material that's using those t-shirts is incredible. But that's it. Yeah, I mean, I'm running three, four times a week now. And you just fly through the stuff. You I can't eat, wear it yeah. twice. Yeah. Um, certainly not one, one run after another. So, you know, to go in there and spend 30, 40 quid on, on a few t-shirts. But I think going back to the shoes, going back to the t-shirts, if are you are starting off, which a lot of people are, 50 quid is gonna have you fully kitted out. Yep, 30 is. quid, a pair of shorts, a tech, you know, a compression top and a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. And you know, people feel think they have to go in and spend 150 quid on runners, 50 quid on yeah. a t-shirt. Don't. No, 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 no. Um, uh, in all the things we've learned so far, it is don't go mental when you're starting out because it all ends up in a wardrobe somewhere and nobody uh, uses it for ages. You spent like two hundred quid on getting stuff together. Yeah. So, so look, that's that's been the Crivet range, the Crivet Pro yeah. range. Um, really, really excellent. Yeah. Uh, I mean, in total, I don't like the shorts, but maybe someone else will. Um, but you'd be utterly nuts not to get some of those compression tops, those t-shirts, yeah. and even as a backup, even if you already have a fancy pair of runners, just buy those for 30 quid, stick them in the bag, stick them in the boot of your car. You yeah. never know when you go, do you know what, I'd love to go for a run now, but I've no gear with me. Yeah. Keep go that, buy, yeah. buy a shirt, buy a t-shirt, buy a compression top, buy shorts, buy runners, stick them in one of those, but plastic bags and leave yeah. in the boot of the car. You're never sure. You have a backup run, plan yeah. for everything. And even if you went out, went running, got wet, needed to change the shoes, they're in the boot again to go running again. Really good value from Lidl. Uh, it's it's great to see the market move on. I don't know what's going to do the rest of the market for the brand name guys out there, whether they have to do something with that because like those t-shirts are just such good value that it's got to drop the price of the of the kind of brand name stuff that's out there because it's easily on, on a level with anything that Adidas right now brings out in t-shirts wise. So on sale, April 14th, um, I think what, little stores open about seven in the morning. Mm, you'd want to be there for the shoes, definitely want to be there for the shoes. I bet be you don't get there early. Be there early. Okay, well that's all for this week. Uh, we are coming back next week with a yeah. little bit of a look back at where we've been so far in our journey from episode one to, to now. We've we've certainly learned a, quite a lot and yeah. we've, uh, we've ran a few kilometers. And You've we've bled. Met, we, I've bled, I've met some, <laughs> some interesting people. Um, so for now, um, goodbye from Bob and Paddy. Take care. That's camera one, feeling good. Supernator land on the outside. I know you said it was your left knee that can give you a bit of yeah. problem. He's just buying these things. We only came here to get the gate and else. It's like people. I'm really